Hey everybody, welcome into the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. I'm Tony Mejia from sportsmemo.com. We're going to be talking about Thursday night's Copa America match between Uruguay and Bolivia, which is on paper the most lopsided match in the group stage of the Copa. The match will be played at 9 p.m. Eastern time at uh, East Rutherford's MetLife Stadium, home of the Giants and the Jets. And uh, we should see not quite the, the crowd that was uh, on hand to see Argentina play last time out, but a healthy crowd as uh, Uruguay enters this match on the money line as a heavy favorite, minus 525 at draft pings. Bolivia to pull the upset is plus 1400, but don't get illusions on a lottery ticket as I do not anticipate that happening. Uruguay won the most recent matchup between the squads 3 0 uh, in World Cup qualifying for this coming World Cup. Uh, Darwin Nunez scored a pair of goals in Montevideo, uh, and Uruguay won 3 0. The previous matchup for uh, qualifying for the Qatar World Cup happened in late November of 2021, and Bolivia actually won that match 3 0. But uh, don't read into that too much as that was played in La Paz, Bolivia's capital, and the altitude played a huge deal, as it often does for Bolivia home matches. Uh, Bolivia fields mostly a domestic squad. That means all the players play in their own league, so they're used to the altitude, and that makes it a very significant chore to go into Bolivia and win in their altitude where they're so heavily acclimated to the, uh, the atmosphere. And uh, when they go on the road, that secret weapon is uh, not in their favor, and they usually get, uh, you know, get it handed to them pretty significantly. And Uruguay has been in great form. Uh, they are dominating in South American World Cup qualifying, despite some roster turnover. They beat Brazil. They beat Argentina. Uh, they they uh, beat uh, both of those teams in late 2023 before beating Bolivia. And then they come into this one fielding a B squad that beat Mexico 4-0 on June 5th and opened Copa America with a 3-1 win in Miami Gardens over Panama. And they scored the first three goals in that match. Uh, it, they're the 15-time Copa America champion. And in this matchup, they are favored by two goals on the Asian handicap, although you can bet it at minus 1.75, one and three-quarter goals. That means if they win by two, you win only half your investment. If they win by more than two, you win your full investment. And if they win by one goal or fewer, uh, you know, and tied or, or get upset, you obviously lose. You can bet the total the same way. It's at three at plus money at plus 105, but you can bet at two and three quarters the total. So if there are three goals, you win half your investment. If there are four or more, you obviously win your full investment. And if there are two or fewer, you lose. But that's an interesting way to bet this because I think there will be at least three goals. Marcelo Bielsa, the um, trainer of the Uruguayan squad, well known for uh, putting his uh, foot on the gas at all costs. Doesn't matter um, what the circumstances are in the match, whether they're up convincingly late. Um, Uruguay's two goals against Panama came very late. Darwin Nunez scored one, and Matias Viña, the defender, added one in stoppage time, and it was 3-0 before Panama pulled one back in the very late stages the other night. So Uruguay's a, a very healthy favorite here. Luis Suarez, uh, Uruguayan's uh, you know, most recognized player, did not play in that first match. Uh, he was an unused substitute, so we might see him here. We might see uh, the goalie, Sergio Rochette, uh, from Internacional of Brazil, maybe get a night off. But no uh, yellow cards were issued to Uruguay players against Panama, which means that they've got a clean bill of health so Bielsa can go with his entire roster. Uh, and I think that this will be a lopsided result. Uh, the spread is fine, but I would bet Uruguay to win by more than two goals, uh, and I would bet the over on three goals. This should be a lopsided result with Uruguay uh, being the most likely um, to score in the first half, you know, Bolivia gave up a goal three minutes in to Christian Pulisic. The first goal scorer in this match, odds wise, uh, the favorite is Darwin Nunez from Liverpool. He pays out plus 250 and he's minus 165 to score at any point in this match. So if you want to take a shot that he'll be the first goal scorer, that'll be interesting. Don't bet on Suarez unless you see him in the starting lineup. I see that his number is up there, despite the fact that, like I said, he was unused in match one. That's where we'll go here. You ride a Uruguay route in MetLife Stadium. Uh, lay the 1.75 goals if you can. You can lay the two, uh, but just know there's uh, uh, you're in jeopardy of pushing there. But I do not expect any problems from Bolivia 
against Uruguay tonight. Make sure you smash that like button and are subscribed to all our videos here at Wager Talk TV. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero, spelling down there below. You can also check out all of my package offerings and free plays at sm.buzz slash TDM. Again, we're riding Uruguay. Thanks for watching this video and have a wonderful Thursday.